Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in. Allahumma mfani bima alamtani wa alimni bima yanfani wa zidni alman inna kal alimul hakim. Allahumma khrijna min bulumat al-wahm wa akrimna binur al-fahm wa fta' alayna bima'rifat al-ilm wa sahil akhlaqana bil-hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is about presenting a case of spring springle deformity. Here, this is the BA chest X-ray in a patient with springle deformity on the left side. As we see here, there is elevation of the scapula and there is congenital deformity of the ribs on the both sides, more prominent on the left side. What is the Springer's deformity? Is failure of descent of the scapula, secondary to fibrous or osseous or more vertebral connection. And this springal scapula can be associated with Klebefield syndrome, renal anomalies, webbed neck. and also associated with uh, bifid ribs and duplication of the anterior portion of the rib. Maybe also associated with goblin basal nervous syndrome. We need CT and MRI for further evaluation of in this patient in the springal scapula springal deformity we need CT scan to more evaluation of the homo vertebral connection and the scapular dysplasia and malposition and also for preoperative a planning and also MRI to assess the homo vertebral connection. We can grade the springal deformity to five grades. The mild deformity is observed in a grade one. And it is not visible in Clinically, when the patient has covered his uh, shoulder with uh, clothes, and grade 2, grade 3, and grade 4, it is depending on the how much the deformity and elevation of the scapula. If it is more than five centimeter, it is severe deformity uh, and uh, is affected, associated with ne neck webbing. So this is in brief, Springle's scapula, Springle deformity. Hoping you like this and see you in the another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadun la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik.